Welcome back, everyone. Let's continue playing the park. It works. The calculations and adjustments work. The transport and the strange mechanisms seem to be powerless. Powerful? Powerless? Pow- pow- Ramus? What, what is that fuck is that in word? What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so, what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling sour? Oh, dour. So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could have been the door this could be the doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Not 100% sure why this woman is worried about her son. But then it is possible to hold two emotions at once. And anybody who says differently just doesn't understand how feelings work. Oh, flashlight. The witch awaits. Can I not take the axe? I would like to take the axe, please. There's an axe right there. Can I take the axe? I cannot take the axe. Well, the witch awaits, I guess. Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him! I've asked him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. There will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. I guess if you've suffered nine months for a child, you really want to have taken the axe. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Yesterday evening, visitors in Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified and dis by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. I'm sorry, Innsmouth. It's pronounced Innsmouth. Anybody who says Innsmouth that has never been to Britain. Who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It's true that a tragedy when... It's... It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offers their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. So where's the cotton candy shack? Hmm. 
Not here. Not there. There. No, that's just a sign. That's just a sign. Okay, I've seen two whack shacks. Did I just go full circle? Oh, there's the cotton candy shack. Wait, what's in here? Hey, you want somebody to you want to get somebody's attention? How, how about you just put something in the middle of nowhere for no reason? Mm, I want cotton candy or child corpse. Either of these are acceptable. I don't know why, that just tickles me. Oh, I can't see anything there. Oh, here we go. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? No, he's not still alive. He's not gonna zombie up on me. Nobody ever likes clowns. Why is that? Hi. Well, we found a corpse behind the cotton candy shack. My stealth instincts are going in and I'm just kind of like taking cover now. Oh, hey, there's something on this plate thing now. Oh, good. Pills. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, I'm, I'm in a haunted park, and although I may be going insane, um, there are just pills sitting right here. Right here. I should eat them. The, these are mine. Yeah, fuck gravity. Whoa. I would call these pretty okay pills. Yeah. Some people just don't like, uh... Oh, there are the teddy bears. Don't touch me. Oh, there you are. Uh, I think I've read this newspaper. No. Belly button is a signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every seventeenth child is a magnet for sinfulness, made omniscient by broken files and hmm. What what is this? We don't uh broken fires in the coastal state strains. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock afterbirth. Only the few naked rhyme rin 
of righteousness in dull indignation are severed by war crossed cleavage in the okay this is just madness not I'm not bothering all that you love will be carried away well as long as it's carried away gently <laughs> I guess I'm meant to run around in a circle. Oh, good. Doors open. Last time I saw the floor that up close, there was a a tape recorder on it. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Callum? Callum! I'm kind of glad they didn't go with the, uh, the atypical, oh, my baby, perfect mother. Cool. I hope the batteries don't run out. I'd hate to have to find more batteries. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folks appeared. Yeah, that's right. Appeared as we hung a heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines. Be silent and diligent, but I am not beaten. Oh, derelict. Sorry. This is hard to read. I mean it. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have... something here. Oh, retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. What about you, Chad? I was about to say I have choices, but I don't. This is meant to be a ride. Sort of. Hmm. I was never impressed by horror houses. 
Jump scare. <laughs> it's nervous laughter, I swear. I recognize you, Shadow. choices. Hmm. I'm trying to pick the way that looks like I shouldn't go there. means we're spiraling this way. This is very nice and bright over here. <sighs> now that's a sense of humor I like. Oh yeah, you. Creepy. Dude, I've been through Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. You're all right, I guess. See, nobody likes clowns. Except me. It's where I keep all of my Pip Boy statues. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, 
coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Give it to me! Oh, um, let's see. Miss Mailer, as we agreed to our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered of sound mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish your continued good health. Mr. Spinward, Dr. Spencer Dunnage Medical. There's a lot of Lovecraft uh, references in this game. Lorraine, I have received your letter and I'm quite surprised you ran off with, with your father all those years ago. Then disappeared off the edge of the map and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer my letters. And now you write me asking for help. I have another family now with another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I love you. I truly did. But every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl. Never really mine. Still, I would have fought for... I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without pricking... I'm sorry, picking open old wounds. God, that's, that's mouthful. I'm sorry, Lorraine, I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Is someone ready to explain to me what this is for? Oh, uh, Jesus. <clears throat> Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancies. Our discussion has made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing, losing her partner, Don who died about six months ago. There are several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provide standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsive therapy. Oh, that's never good therapy. That really only has one purpose, and that's to help with epilepsy. What year was this? What year was this? 17th of October, 1977. Okay, this is before they were... Ah, so stupid. Anyway. Weekly follow-ups, mood stabilization, a whole bunch of really tiny print that even I cannot read, and I doubt you can too. Let's see if I, if I can make out of this. Uh, Callum, plans for foster care, displayed symptoms... Uh, you know what? I think she kidnapped her son from foster care. Oh my god. Rip my eyes. Just rip my eyes. Miss Maillard, our inquiry into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiary of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for the accidental death 
were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams at New York State. The deceased pa- the deceased's parents. Our agent made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as to regard to the birth of Donald's son, Colin. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our something, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they could consider you ineligible to receive any of Donald's estate. They have something that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope I am not being too forward when I enclose the something for our services. Oh, Bill, sincerely, Edward, such and such attorney. Well, sucks to be Lorraine, that's for damn sure. Oh, good, there's a third, there's a second basement. Right, oh. Weren't we already here? Oh, pills. Oh, books. A different kind of pill. Nightmare Circus by Farron Calm. Alright, let's see. The park, it was a wait, wait, waiting on children or child for take, take, taken, using joy for bait, bait, baiting while their mother's mind was breaking. I don't know what that last word is. Analgesia? Hmm. I'll take the pills in a second. I'm not even going to bother. That text is too tiny. I cannot read it. Hunger. Uh, okay. I am starting to. Oh, hey! Shopping list milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, Zoloft prescription. Remember, take the pills. Follow up on Dr. Spencer's organized babysitter for Callum. Alright, so. I don't really want to go back there and take the pills. I should take the pills, shouldn't I? I'll, be, I'll, not, I'll take the pills. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just examining the pills. I can barely make out what they're what they are. Yeah, there's a teddy bear I was looking for. Okay, are we in PT?
Wait, what? Tickets to Atlantic Island Park. So... Zoloft. And lots of it. a lot of bullshit go whoa oh huh. wonder who carrot is I saw something are you carrot well I don't remember what floor we're on Pretty, pretty nice levels of crazy here. Are you staring at me? Hey, baby. Well, I put you in. Oh, hey, baby. I thought you were just in. Oh, boy. Oh, that's before the haircut. happened here. Nothing says crazy like baby heads. You are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer mine. He once was. There's a baby in the oven, dear Liza, dear Liza. Gonna put a cut here for YouTube sakes. <laughs> 